Welcome to this Killick Explains Finance video. This week, a bit of a mouthful, but an important mouthful, particularly if you are a high earner. Yes, I'm looking at the tapered pension annual allowances trap. And the trap is this. Overpay into your pension, probably by mistake this year, and you'll be slammed with additional charges. So watch out for this one. Here we go. Now, in theory, what could be simpler than pensions, you might say? Well, you know, in theory, the gross amount you can pay into your pension annually is capped, and this year it's capped at £40,000. So far, so good. That's the gross amount. So in theory, that's up to £32,000 from you, and £8,000 of basic tax relief given at source. There's your £40,000, nice and simple. What's the problem? The problem is this. If you are a high-income individual, and this area is full of new bits of jargon, by the way, then your contribution may be tapered. In essence, if your adjusted income, and be very careful, that's a new expression, it's probably not what you think it is, rises above £150,000, then the amount you can contribute into your pension this year for 2016-17 gets tapered away down from that 40 I mentioned all the way down to 10. Now, that diagram just gives you a rough idea of what's going on, so how does that work with a few numbers? And beware, if you get this wrong, you could be hit with additional charges and be aware that adjusted income is not simply your income from an employer, from property, from investments and so on. Okay, here's how it could work. So you lose a pound of annual contribution into your pension for every two pounds, your adjusted income, there's that expression again, need to define that in a moment, is above the £150,000 threshold. So just take a couple of examples. You've got them all here. But supposing your adjusted income, whatever that is, is £170,000. That puts you £20,000 above the 150 base I mentioned. So that reduces your maximum pension contribution for this year by half that amount, or £10,000, meaning your maximum contribution is no longer £40,000. It would be only £30,000. And that sort of process continues until, if your adjusted income hits that kind of level, you're down to a maximum contribution, doesn't go any lower than that, of £10,000, let's say. So, the question then arises, what is the test that determines whether I'm above the threshold or not? And be careful, because the Inland Revenue, or HMRC, as they're now called, have seen this one coming. They thought, oh, people might be clever. They might do salary sacrifice, flexible benefits, and try and get around the rules. So, more terminology. The first thing you do is check your threshold income. And be careful, because threshold income isn't just your income. Threshold income is annual taxable income, salary, investment income, dividends for example, rental income from properties, add in employee pension contributions deducted from gross pay. For example, salary sacrifice, flexible payments made by your employer. In other words, ways you might be trying to get around this rule about your maximum pension contribution. Then deduct personal pension contributions in section 24, Taxes Act reliefs. Uh, more about that elsewhere, I would suggest. The point is, you come up with your threshold income, and if that exceeds 110,000, then you need to do an adjusted income calculation. You can't just sit back and go, well, I don't earn anything like 150,000. You might still be caught by the rules. Now, the adjusted income calculation, and again, this is not just your income, as you and I probably understand it. It starts with that, your annual taxable income at the top, as I just mentioned, salary, property, investments, and then you add on some things. Pension contributions made by a salary sacrifice again, the value of final salary scheme benefits, that's um, defined benefit or final salary scheme benefits, plus contributions to occupational pension plans, and then make adjustments for any Section 24 Tax Act reliefs, as I mentioned before. That's all quite fiddly, not going to cover it in any more detail in this video, but the point is your adjusted income, like your threshold income, are not just your income as you probably understand them. Now, there is a saving grace. Supposing your maximum contribution for this year has been tapered right down, what can you do if you want to put more into your pension than that? Well, the answer is you can carry forward up to three years of previously unused pension contributions provided you use up this year's allowance first. They're brought forward sort of um, first in, first out, if you like. So looking back over the last three years, you could bring forward unused, presumably, 50 from there, 40 from there, 40 from there, to boost what you could contribute there, if you like. So there's one saving grace. But just watch out. Um, these carry-forward rules will be affected by the new tapering as follows. 
if your 2016-17 contribution is capped by that tapering at £20,000 and you choose to contribute, say, 15, then your carry forward for this tax year is only five. And it will only be five and stay at five no matter what happens to your income in the future. So the message here is simple. These are complicated rules. They catch out more people than you might think they would. And watch out. You could overpay into your pension. If you do, you create an administrative nightmare for yourself and you could incur additional tax costs on top. So, any questions? Editor at killick.com. If you want to see any more pensions related videos, please do use the video library we've set up, killickexplains.com, and take a look at the tax effective savings tab.